Welcome to G-Man Gaming and Reviews. So this is going to be another Armello play. Um, what we're going to do is I'm probably going to go through all the characters, because why not? So we'll play a new game. Um, the Mercuria one is the game I did before. I'm actually going to do Sana this time. Um, normally when I play her, is she's got a very interesting ability. When she's fighting a corrupted creature, including the king, which actually means that she can fight very well against the king, actually. She uses spirit in place of fight. Now, she's got a spirit of five, and a, so she's got two, six, three, five. Now, you could buff the fight, but I don't see the point. Now, one of the interesting things about this, even though she has this ability, she still can get rot. So, she's actually very useful against fighting against Banes and getting rot, because she, because they're corrupted, she still gets to use her spirit. So, she's very, very good at, like, she can actually beat the king with her in a fight. Um, because she uses her spirit. And she can attack Banes, but if she gets attacked by anybody else that doesn't have Rot, then she's in trouble. Normally when I play with her, um, the amulet that I like to go for is the Wits Amulet. Because she only starts with a Wits of 3, which for a Spellcaster isn't that good. Spellcasters want to be cycling through the deck. They want to be getting as much cards as they can. But then at the same time, you want to be getting items so that you can get defensive items to help you survive. So that's the amulet that I'm going to pick with her. Now as for the rings, um, one minus rot at dawn if in a zone circle, I mean, can be good. Um, but normally, as I said, when I play with the spellcasters, as I said in the Yordana guide, I normally um, go for a spirit stone and rot victory at the same time. Um, this one, 3 plus magic at dawn, is very, very useful. Um, because it means that you'll actually have spells, you can actually use spells, um, when you, when, you know, even during the day. So if you have any crossover or you need any extra magic, this will really, really help out. Um, 1 plus magic for every spell card burned. I'm not really sure that I'm a big fan of this. The reason is, is that... You kind of have to burn cards in order to use it. So, um, unless you, maybe if you combined it with like the um, this harmonized thing, it could be useful. Um, even though, even though the harmonized, it means you would have more cards to burn. But I'm not really sure that I, I like this um, because the it relies on you burning cards in order to have a good effect. So I'm not really I I, I have seen guides that say this is good, but I'd like to see somebody explain how it works. Um, I you know um, this one is interesting. Um, in battle, that, but one plus the moon. This one is my favorite. This one or this one. The one plus shield in forest is very, very useful because it means that it's an extra shield when you get attacked. Combine it with the ranger's cloak or any defensive items and it's really, really good. Especially if you get the lion heart breastplate with this. Awesome. Um, and the one plus spirit's actually really, really useful as well. Um, this will help you survive because there's a lot of forests on the map. Um, for this playthrough, I'm going to go with that though. And we're going to select, and we're going to select. This is a, ooh, I'm not going to like playing against Oksana, but this is a very, very good loadout, so we'll leave it. Uh, maybe what we might do is might make these characters better. What's her loadout? Ah, no, we'll leave it. Uh, this is for demonstrating how the characters work rather than for actually playing against them, so... I should win this. Um, Alright, so let's, let's start the game. Just drinking some cider. There's this um, cider, there's this, uh, there's this mead company in Australia called B Mead. Um, I think they've gone out of business due to the COVID-19. I'm not sure because you can't get their mead anymore. But it was really, really good. Um, I've still got four of them in the fridge. 
and I'm just keeping them just in case. Because I'm actually planning to brew my own meat. <laughs> Alright. Good luck, heroes. Now, what do we start with? The Royal Shield, I mean, could be good if you were a fight character. Because, I mean, that being said, ooh. Or the Spirit Stone. The Conjurer is actually really, really good. And there is a magic card that costs six, so... I might go for this for now, so we'll see if I can get that. Starting with the Trusty Shield is actually really, really good. Um... There's a trap there. One. Two. Uh, I should have gone one, two, three. One. Uh, I'm going to go here. That was bad. I should have gone here, here, and here. But. Ooh, actually, I can play this here. Just enjoying some Summersby Blackberry Cider. Um, I'm not really much of a beer drinker, but um, cider is pretty good. And meat, I absolutely love meat. Probably one of the few people I know that actually likes meat. You can't really get it at a bar. So Vayne's uh, doing their thing. Now, normally if you're playing as a, a spellcaster, you normally don't want to be fighting Vayne's. But, um... One plus prestige. I'm gonna take that. That's gonna be very, very useful. So we go here. He's probably gonna move anyway. Um, so I'm gonna go here. Now with my hand of cards, I should be able to, um, get rid of this. That's not really that useless for me anyway. So we'll play that. Um, that. Not a very good chance, but I don't think I have any items anyway. Well, I'm going to get that gold back anyway. So, that's that. <laughs> Later on in the game, once you've got the items, I would have ended my turn in the forest to get the, um, the plus three magic. But... Normally, you want to do that later on in the game because you need to site, you need to get gold initially to get defensive items. Once you've got defensive items, then you can not really worry about it. Like items that give you, especially with the, especially with cast with characters with low fight, you want items that give shields. All right. Um, tower shield is good. Um, anything that gives shields, anything that gives swords is not really that useful for you. Um, shields are good. Ooh, she got killed. I think that's a she. And they moved, which was great. Ooh, and there's Sana. Ooh, I've got... Ooh. I'm gonna play it. If she moves through there, she's gonna lose she's gonna lose her explode pool.
that sucks. Lucky I'm playing as the Bear Clan though and I've got heaps of health. the plus magic and that's the end of my turn and I'm in a forest now what are we going to take here poppet can be useful actually because it can de-incentivize someone from attacking you and since I'm going for a rock victory anyway and I've got a good chance of, I've got a much better chance of Actually, I've got a better chance of getting that, but I, I would probably want the extra wits, so it's worth it. Pretty good, pretty good that I claimed this one. Holy crap, I'm dead. I am absolutely dead. Please get, get all shields. Oh, she me. oh, wait, she didn't. But I'm dead anyway. Oh, oh that couldn't have been. I couldn't have been luckier. Probably would have wanna got there and got that, but Ooh, and a crystallize. I don't wanna die. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna play this. Go up here, and then go here. Now, technically I would have wanted to have kept this card. I think I'm actually going to be able to play it next turn. don't want to die. Oh wait, that's not going to help. I thought that if I'd stayed in the forest, I would have stayed stealthed. Oh, okay, that's not good. In a settlement, palace, or clan grounds. i got to stay in the settlement, or i got to get to a settlement. Oh wait, I think I can play that card. I think it's two. Yeah, it's fine. I should be able to play it. I should be able to get all my health back. So we've got six magic. And we play this. And we get all our health back. We suffer two minus health. If we don't stay in. Okay, we're going to move here. So that's one shield for being in a settlement. I think. Oh. No, you don't get a shield for being in there. Okay. Well. I've got regeneration anyway. So I don't really care about losing the health. 
So I'm going to go here. And then up here. And we'll leave that. Oh crap, she's going to attack me. Not a bad thing. I don't care if she has lots of shields. Come on, give me more shields. Shields, shields, shields. That's that. Come on, give me another shield. Okay, one advantage of having a very large. Okay, and that's the end of her turn. Beautiful. Oh crap, she's gonna take one of my cards. Don't take the crystallized card. Oh, thank you. Why do I have an extra dice? Oh, because it's daytime. Oh crap. I'm dead. That's one of the other advantages of playing a spellcaster. Is that what because you can draw spell cards, it's a way of progressing in the game without actually being able to complete your quest, because this can happen. You can get killed by people and then suddenly you're back to square one. But at least I have that crystallized car. So hopefully she dies. Okay, that's actually very, very useful. So we move here. Um, we summon that here. We move here. get a spirit stone. So salvation gets the rid of it. Stone salvation or the scythe. We'll take the stone. That was a random event. So now I think we've actually got two stones. So where can we summon a bane? Okay, I don't wanna... Okay. I think I'm gonna summon a bane here. Oh, I can't! Because... Alright, I'm gonna summon a bane here. Now, you gotta be careful about your, um, your rot rising. Because if you get a rod of five, and you get a quest to go into a, um, a what you would call it, a, a, uh, stone circle, you'll die and you won't be able to complete the quest. You can pick up a stone and then die, but you can't actually do your quest because you're going to take damage. And normally you take damage equal to how many, um, and as you can see, that car, that, that, um, that, that, whatchamacallit. Yes, this day it is so. Now 
Now, I am definitely going to attack. I'm definitely going to... Now I've got, now I've got 8 Spirit, and so when I attack that Bane... I'm going to get Prestige for attacking it. Ooh, and there's going to be another... Now this is the kind of item that you want, okay? So I'm gonna go here. Ah, crap. Dumb stranger. Generally, I would prefer to focus on only characters who have a high fight. And now I'm up to three. Which means if I get um, that, that crystallized card again, because I think there's two of them in the deck. Ooh, and it cues right. Ooh, that actually helped. So we're going to play the card. And I get another rock card. So where is somebody who I can play this card on? So go up here. Go here. Ah. That's um, useless. We'll burn this, and we'll burn this, because they're useless. Oh, wait, I have a follow-up. Don't give me... Ooh! I don't care if I get the rod. Either of those is good for me. Go here. Ah, okay. my turn. Now, pop it again. Nah, I'm going to go after the Warlock. Hang on. I can, what do I want to go after? I've got a pretty good chance of getting either of these. Um... I think I'm going to go after the, um... Good if you want to get the rot, but I think the spirit stone is the one I should be going for. I've almost got three spirit stones, so Come on, give me an item. That's very, very useful. That's very, very useful. Ah, I should have grabbed more items actually. Eh, so far he's come in real handy. Go here. Oh, snap. 
snap. Oh, that couldn't have been better. Is there anybody there? Nah, there's nobody near. Time to go for that. There's apparently only two of these um, cleansing wild cards, and their their cost is low enough that. One, one really, really good use of having um, lots of cards with the Shiver Shield cards, you can turn them all into shields. Play that, um, and we will play that. So can we go boom. Uh, I'm not even going to bother try to beating her. Okay. Well, I uh, I don't really have a good chance of um, stopping this. Somebody else apart from me. Yeah. And even if they kill me, it's not gonna matter because my clan grounds are there. Play this because it only costs two now. By my name, take heed. Still one item. Not necessarily a very good card, unless your enemy's got a lot of really good items. Like maybe this one would be useful if I applied it on them because either of these items would be really good. And either of these items would be, uh, no, but this, these items would be really, really good. I've got a much better chance of getting, um, some magic and lightning strike. Now, I'm going to kill her. I get one minus magic and I've got a 60% chance of getting this. Come on, baby. Yes! Now I'm a spirit walker. Am I on three? What's my next quest going to be? Okay, I'm moving here because more magic. All right, so we'll play here. Well, wait a minute, I've got magic now. You die! And I get the bounty, which means I get the prestige. That was really, really useful. And now I've got the cat burglar. So who do, whose items do I want to steal? 
River. Where is River? Where is she? One really, really good thing about, um... Yes! Yeah, it's worth it. Oh, wait, I can't afford the card. Oh, well, that's... Now, I could go after the Spirit Stone, but none of these are actually really, really good for me. Except for the Explorer, the extra... F uh, no, I'm going to use Spirit to fight against the King anyway. Um... I'm probably going to go after the extra, um... The priest, the prestige doesn't really matter. I'm going to go after the extra wits. I happen to get really, really lucky in this game with the, um, the treasures that I've got. I mean, the... The Winged Boots is pretty good um, at the beginning of the game. Right, and I'm going to keep them in my hand until I get to this last quest. So, let's have a look. Who's... Who can I target? No one. Alright, well I guess I'm targeting you. Okay, not bad. That's an extra shield. Play it to that one. And we will go boom. Extra, ooh, that's really, really good. We'll keep the feathered helm for now. And now we're going to attack. They automatically die. And I get prestige. I think I'm the prestige leader now. Yeah, I am. Well, I kind of didn't plan that, but it did help me out. I might as well play this Wall of Thorns here. Just in case um, character tries to come and get me from there. Oh, that was lucky. <laughs> so now that I'm the prestige leader and I'm well ahead... Let's try something new. No, I'm not... Uh, I, I don't care. That's fine by me. why you need at least some defensive items. I think I'm going to get rid of the Royal Shield because it's not really going to come in handy anymore. I'm just going to pick a whole bunch of items that... So the Tower Shield is very, very useful. I'm not going to bother with this. I don't have, I'm not rolling enough dice. and I, 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 It would have come in handy if I was um, going for the rock victory, but there's no point. I've got the... Play that. And we'll leave the other thing for... Where do we need to go? Okay, so we need to go in this direction. Ah, that's not going to do anything to me. So 
we can just play this to burn these cards. And I've got a four out of six chance, not including um, rerolls. Go here. And I go here. Lucky I had that additional one there. Oh, that's a, that's a pro tactic actually. Uh, that's a pro tactic playing cursed lands in um, these areas because it makes the if I had done that they would have passed those tests. And three shields. Come on, give me some shields. Yes! And they take a hit. Bang! In darkness we thrive. Now hopefully my spirit stone doesn't get stolen from me, because I have had that happen in the game. Because now that I've lost all my rot, uh, I might be able to beat the king. Even with five dice, they're not going to have a very good chance of uh, beating me. And another shield! Beautiful! Oh, that was lucky. Oh, we're all fugitives. So I'm going to go here. Oh, that's nasty. Play that. And with six dice, the odds of me not getting at least one. Oh, that would have been nasty. I'm just going to take that. That's an extra shield. Don't need to. I don't need to risk it. So the next quest is going to be. Holy crap! That doesn't really matter. Oof. I think at this point, it's probably useful to play that for the extra shield. And that's Palace Entry, which will always be here. It's always um, near where your clan grows. Lucky I played that there. And you'll notice that I specifically played the Wits one because these characters are not generally characters that are good with uh, magic. So 
I didn't have to worry about them getting high magic. And I didn't want to play it in the magic one just in case I got a break. That, that's not a problem. Plus two rot. <laughs> I'm going to win this either way. Step forward, hero. Kinda don't want the all of King's Guards pain. One minus body to all heroes banes. This should be interesting. I guess it didn't draw, it just dropped the total. That was the best of the two cards that I could have chosen. Oh, crap. Five shields, there's nothing he's gonna. The odds of him being able to get do anything to me are very, very unlikely. And lucky I played that additional shield. Way more useful than um, having the royal shield because I'm not really rolling that much dice anyway, not against these guys. And six shields, that could have gone better. Even if I die, I'm only going to lose one, one prestige and they're nowhere near anywhere to be able to challenge me, so it's worth it. And I've got the one card as well, which is beautiful, and so many, so I'm going to play that, I'm going to play that, and we've got a very, very good chance of beating this. Unbelievable. One advantage of, of playing mainly um, fighters is that they tend to have crappy spirits, so you don't really have to worry about them going for these um, two spirit ones. You only have to worry about them going for the wits. Whereas if you're playing against spellcasters, you kind of got to worry about all of them. Bribe. 
Now I'm gonna draw a whole bunch of items because I need healing Dra ba really, really badly. Unbelievable. I can't afford it. Um. Okay, let's try again. So cups blood. Um. That's it. Come on! Vegas swords, baby! No. Oh, off by the one again. You dare to usurp me. Well, they can't win anyway. He's gonna die at the next turn, at the start of the next turn, so I've won this. Wasn't like the Mercurio one where um, Agnea, the the big dragon clan guy, managed to become a really dangerous terror and threaten in the end. But I got lucky with this one. Um, it's to an extent because of the wanted on um, on the dragon clan lady. It just gave me like so much prestige. And I win a prestige victory? Which is a perfectly valid victory. So this was uh, G-Man Gaming and Reviews. G-Man Gaming and Reviews. Uh, thank you for watching and please subscribe and like. Alright, thanks. Bye.